I wasn't going to get it. I wasn't. But it showed up in my cart. And then, lo and behold, it showed up at my house. What's a person to do but open the box and write with it, right? Benu, coming up. Keep watching. Hey there, it's Grace. Welcome back to another video. Special welcome if you are a newbie, if you've just subscribed. Thank you very much. Okay, so truth be told, I have never been a fan of the new pens. Um, I just wasn't attracted to, to any of them until I saw this one. And as I mentioned in a previous video, the ink swatches that I did came with this order, but I didn't want to do it all together because I think pens have to have their own special video because they're new and they're, yeah. Anyway, um, so I've not been a fan of the new pens. And even then, it, it took a while. It took a while for me to give in and actually purchase this particular pen. My last year in pens, I've come to realize that I'm actually a minimalist when it comes to pen bodies. So all the bells and whistles on um, the Banus never really interested me. Um, not into fancy designs, like, I don't know if you can see, like that Banu. I most likely will not get that Banu because it's just too much for me. I like pens that are, as the Pen Addicts blog describes it, less out there than others. So what the heck am I doing with this pen? What in the world? Oh, okay. So obviously it's a Benu. We got that part. Let's see, product information and warranty. So there's two cartridges that comes with it. What else is there? Oh, that's just the dressing. Okay, we'll put all this away. We don't need to have this here right now because this is the star of the show. I can open it either end. We're going, we're going this way because that end didn't want to open. <gasps> dun da 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 What the heck? am I doing with this pen? What? How in the world did my brain form to enjoy a glittery bells and whistles pen? I mean, look at, look, just, oh my goodness. So what is this pen? This pen is the Euphoria um, Earl Grey. Now, part of this attraction, I'm going to come in just a touch. Part of this attraction is the name Earl Grey. I love tea. My preferred way, I'm not a, I'm not a big coffee drinker. I will drink coffee, although this is reminding me of coffee too. So mm -mm. anyway, um, I'm not a big fan of coffee. So when I saw the Earl Grey, Earl Grey, I think is what initially, initially had me actually looking at the pen because I don't know, I have an English husband who loves to drink tea. Well, no, that's a lie. He likes to drink coffee now. Anyway, that's by the by. In the beginning, when we first got together, he loved to drink tea. So Earl Grey has kind of like special memories. Oh, this is just a pretty pen. Oh, see, I'm looking at a glittery pen and I'm calling it pretty. What in the world is happening to me? What? Okay, let's, let's just get to looking at this pen. This is just, look at that. This is just beautiful. Try not to get that glare in there too much. I'm liking the glittery. And I'm loving ever since my first um, brown pen that was um, 
what is it, Visconti Apollo in brown. I'm kind of liking brown. And then I did my inky ease with browns and I sort of like brown color now. Who knew? Who knew that pens and inks would make me like the color brown? Okay, let's do um, how many turns does it take to open? We'll do that. Wow. No, that's got to be wrong. That's got to be wrong. Let's do that again. That's one. Two. Two and a bit. I don't think I have a pen that opens with two and a bit turns. Okay. There we go. Let's get to the pen. Let's talk about the pen, shall we? Instead of me gushing over something that I shouldn't be gushing over. Anyway, um, this pen is a Goulet Pens special edition. It's a part of their refreshments collection where I think they design pens um, that are named after what they like fun drinks. So this one has amber brown as its base color with gold leaf, see that again, gold leaf flecks and blue flecks. Let's see, I think there's more on this side. Blue flecks, like right there. The resin is just capturing the light, dang it. Anyway, um, there's gold flecks and blue flecks all through the base of the, um, the resin. But there's also, and this is the thing that got me, that, that kind of sold it for me. It also has Earl Grey tea, or I don't know if it's Earl Grey, but real tea leaves fused into this resin body. That's the thing that got me. And if you can see all of that black stuff in there, that's not gunk, that's tea leaves. That is freaking tea leaves. Okay, let's let's look at the nib really quickly, just to look, notice the prettiness of it. Anyway, we'll get to the nib in a minute. Um, the pen comes with two cartridges, the ones that came in the box, as you saw earlier. And <clears throat> there's actually, it comes also with, open, open, oh my God, that's a lot of turning. Jeez Louise. It comes with an international, oh my goodness, con cartridge converter also, which I love that. I prefer using a cartridge converter. But what I did not know was you can eyedropper ink into the barrel to use. Blowing my mind right now. What the flip? That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, let's get to the nib. The nib is a... Where's the Jeopardy music? So, yeah. The nib is a stainless steel. I wonder if I can get... How close can I get? Let's see. The nib is... It says Schmidt, and I hope it's picking up the word Schmidt. It's a Schmidt number six. Look at all that just beautifulness on that nib. So cool. It's a Schmidt number six stainless steel nib. I got, this is a um, medium. I got the medium. I got the medium because I knew that I wanted to, um, I knew that I wanted to get some work done on it. And medium is, I want to go from a medium to something else. I don't know, cursive italic or something. I don't know. Um, the cap itself, I'm going to have to just like, Put time in to unscrew the cap. Like if I'm sitting down, I'm like, oh, let's unscrew the cap. Oh yeah, okay, hold on, I'm coming, coming right now. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, I am, I'm. Let's leave that alone. Come on, come back. The cap has a silver clip. Okay, wow. It's a bit stiff. A bit tricky to get up. Wow, that's stiff. Anyway, that's not an, that's not. The cap apparently is postable. As you know, I do not generally post my pens. Let's see. Whoa, that sucker is long. Wow. The thing is, interestingly enough, the pen is not heavy in my cur curlicue area here. It's not heavy. It's just extra flipping long. Wow, 
anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's, I want to do that. Um, let's see how grip. Oh, it's fine without the, the cap. It's definitely fine without the cap. It doesn't feel like, and I was wondering when I first opened it just now, I was wondering if this, I don't know if you can see, there's a step up right there. And I was wondering if that would interfere with me holding the pen, but the grip section here is long enough for me to, for that not to interfere with, I don't even feel it really. That's not even, that's not even an, op an option to even think about not working with the pen. Um, the pen is actually in the girthy size. And I find over the last um, months, as I have um, have new pens in my collection, I find the girthier the better. Narrow pens, really, m my hand cramps. I was at a pen um, meetup, a Portland pen meetup, and one of the ladies, she just bought a Caveco Lilliput, a thin, narrow thing, and it wrote so beautifully. But it was just a, just slightly too narrow for me, for my hand. So you probably won't see me, although that pen was gorgeous. I'm telling you, that pen was gorgeous. I was almost going to bypass. Well, I did bypass the glittery on this one, so I can maybe bipe, reel it in. Okay. Um, the pen, I'm going to give you some specs on the pen that I find, I find interesting specs. The pen weighs 26 grams. The length is almost six whole inches, 5.91 inches, which is about 150 millimeters um, to be exact. But the one thing I found interesting is the max ink capacity. So this cartridge holds 1.6 milliliters. So this ink capacity of 1.6, the cartridge converter holds 1.1 milliliters but if you eyedropper the barrel ink straight into the barrel there's nothing in the barrel to to, to get in its way so if you eyedropper ink straight into the barrel geez louise it takes a forever and forever to turn these why do we have to have so many threads people anyway no nope. the ink capacity is a whopping 4.9 mils what the hey um so yeah the pen it's a big pen it's a big pen in girth it's a big pen in length and apparently it's a big pen in incapacity which i am okay with i am okay i cannot believe i like this pen next thing i want to do um before we get to the writing sample let's do some pen comparisons shall we and I'm going to put this one in the center and you'll see why in a minute um pen comparisons what am I using for pens what am I using okay here we go um let's go let's go I actually chose to just compare it to other big pens because I don't think it makes for right now it doesn't make any sense to compare it to others so the first one we'll put in there is the Twisby the Twisby Diamond 580. That's one of my favorite pens. Um, the next one we'll go with is the Monte Verde Super Mega Carbon Fiber Pen. So there is, you'll see why in a minute, why I put that in the center. The other one we'll go with is this big kahuna. This one is the Jin Hao 9019. These two can't even fit next to each other. Look at that. And then we will go with dun, 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 Leonardo MZG 2.0. I almost feel like I need to do anyway. And then the Narwhal Horizon. So if you look at all these pens, this one, I don't even think this one goes here. This, this, these are my three biggest, as in length, pens. And all of these, except for the Twisby, are girthy. I love a girthy pen, and all of these are girthy. But look at, the, you know what, let's do some, um, let's do some opened. The 
this one still has ink in it, so I need to be careful. And then I think I cleaned this one out. So yeah, if you look at the pens, it's a long, it's long pen, un, un, unopened, I mean opened. And these three are kind of, it's still, it's still my longest pen. How is it against the, the Ritma, the Ritma, the Monte Verde. They're about the same length, these two, uncapped, which is just interesting. Even, yeah, that's fascinating to me. Um, these comparisons, when I first started doing video or watching videos, I'm like, why are you comparing the, all the thing, all the, um, all the pens all the time? But it makes an interesting bit of information, these comparisons. Alrighty, you know what? Let's, let's just get to the writing sample because I know that's probably what you're waiting on. Let's put these away. I'll be back to put you guys in storage in a minute. Um, I am going to ink this pen up in, and I'm going to ink it up with the converter. Yeah, we'll do the converter. I was going to do platinum mix, came in the ink vent, came in the ink, ink flight, but I think I'm going to use Ink Journal's Holiday Blend. Majestic Spruce. That's what we'll use. Alrighty, let's try and ink this up. Did I get any? Oh yeah, I got, I got some. Of course I got some. And that little bit spill there is why I put this sheet down all the time. This Alrighty, that didn't take long actually. That was probably only a few minutes. Um, Let's do a writing sample, shall we? Let's come in a little bit closer. So this one is, um, oh, this is a nice writer. Ooh, I'm a, I'm a smooth pen. I like to air on the side of smooth rather than scratchy. And this is very nice. Um, and it has a medium nib. Nice. Wow. I'm trying not to hold this, this grip, this, that's one of the things I'm practicing now. I tend to hold nib, um, pens, the grips tight. Let's see what reverse does. Oh, it's scratchy. Oh, it's scratchy in reverse. We don't like that. Okay, um, let me get the ink down. Ink is So pretty, the ink, the ink, um, the flow in this pen. I don't know, it's my first Benu, so I don't know if Benus are generally wet writers, but the flow of this ink in this pen is absolutely beautiful. Let's do a quick writing with my um, pangram. Okay, it kept up beautifully with that quick writing, which is kind of cool. That's nice. Oh, I'm just... Now that came about because I held the pen sideways, so I'm not gonna take points off. Alrighty. Let's do real quickly, we're going to get to um, my pen evaluation that I usually that I usually do. So first one up usually is uniqueness. Now uniqueness is, remember, it is um, common versus extraordinary. We're going to put this in extraordinary. This for me, 
This is all subjective. This is definitely... I'm going to put this up there. <sighs> I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to get... That's a high mark for me. That's a very high mark for me. Um, ease of use. Now, ease of use is performance out of the box. Um, how easy is it to fill? How easy is this pen to use? So ease of use. I'm going to give this... I'm... <sighs> I want to give it a nine. It is real. It was simple. The um, the cartridge converter. I didn't have any issues with the cartridge converter drawing up the ink. You usually have to draw it in and out and in and out and in and out. Didn't have any issues with that. Um, I didn't have any issues with the flow. The the yeah yeah yeah. Well well. I'm I'm trying to justify giving it a nine. I don't know why. Okay. Feel in hand. The feel at hand is different. I don't know. There's something different about how I'm, how it's being held or how my hand feels with it in it. I'm going to give this an eight because the feel in hand, it feels good. And then that posting is just ridiculous. That just, that to me, I don't know if it's the size of my hand makes that posting a pen, a pen that makes it that long. Anyway, we're going to keep, keep this at um, feel in hand is an eight. Could there be other things? I think over time I will see what else, why I only gave it an eight. Or maybe I'll increase the number. Um, style of the pen. Is the style artisanal, avant-garde? Is it conservative, opulent? We're going to go in the opulent range. We're, we're definitely style of pen. is kind of like in the, I'm going to give that a nine. Um, this is really over the top for me. This is not my usual pen body. I go, I gravitate towards. So um, writing experience. Oh, this is a solid nine. That's a solid. So, uh, there's no issues with writing with this pen. The flow of that ink is just beautiful. I'm going to actually try, because the writing experience is so beautiful with this standard ink, um, I'm going to try another ink, different ink. Um, this one is a mix, a blend that Ink Journal created for their ink flight for January, December, I think. Um, and I'm going to try also, because it's a medium nib, I also want to try um, shimmer ink in it. Because shimmer to me is a test of a pen's ability. And usually with mediums, I want to put a shimmer in it. Um, the value, of course, you know, I don't do the value until I've had the pen for a good bit. And then, by the way, I have a value review coming up in at the end of the month. So look for that. I'm reviewing five pens, four, five, six pens. I think I'm reviewing six pens. So look for that coming up. And this is that's why I don't give it a value because I want the value to me is about the usage over time, and it kind of value it kind of seals in this the first five, or it takes away from the first five. So. Yeah, so what are my final thoughts on this pen? Um, I am not sure I'll, I will get another Benu. This one attracted me just immediately. I tried not to notice it every time someone put a video out, but I couldn't help it. It's, it's a gorgeous pen. Um, Oh, there's another person calling me again. I'll call you later, dude. Um, this Bennu was an anomaly. There's, there's, I, if you look in my pen storage case, there is not another pen like this. There's just not another pen with all that glittery goodness. Yes, I said it. It's glittery goodness. What can I say? I... What am I, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Am I, am I glad I got it? Yes, I am glad I got it. I, I actually like the pen. I love writing with it so far. Um, I'll definitely be inking it up for March currently ink. I'm looking forward to writing. One of the things I said on the Goulet site is, um, 
it's comfortable to write for long sessions. So I'm going to put that to the test and I'm going to transcribe a few pages in my transcription book. We'll see if it's if it's up for the task. Remember that feel in hand was eight, so I'm kind of testing that number. Um, okay, that's it. That's it for Benu, my first Benu. Let me know your thoughts on this pen. Um, if you're a Benu fan, and um, before you leave, before you leave, go on, hit that like button. It lets me know. I'll tell you why I say it, and I say it all the time, because it lets me know that you're good to go on the videos I produce and the videos I get out there on YouTube. And I like to know that you like what I like. So there you go. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.